Welcome back Mechanical AI. Did you know that the relational model for database management is an approach to managing data using a structure and language? This makes us wonder, what is a relational model? Before we jump in, check out the previous part of this series to learn about what an extended entity relationship model is. Now, in a traditional relational data model, relations are saved in the format of tables. A table has rows and columns, where rows represent records and columns represent the attributes. A single row of a table, which contains a single record for that relation, is called a tuple. A finite set of tuples in the relational database system represent a relational instance. Relation instances do not have duplicate tuples. A relation schema describes a relation name that is the table's name, attributes and their names. Each row has one or more attributes, known as relation key, which can identify the row in the relationship uniquely and every attribute has some predefined value scope known as attribute domain. ER model when conceptualized into diagrams gives a good overview of entity relationship which is easier to understand and hence ER diagrams are mapped to relational schema using the following process. First comes the mapping of entities which start with creating a table for each entity and then assigning entities attribute to fields of tables with their respective data types followed by declaring the primary key. Second comes mapping the relationships. Here we create a table for relationship then add the primary keys of all participating entities as fields of the table with their respective data types. If the relationship has any attribute, we add each attribute as a field of the table and declare a primary key composing all the primary keys of participating entities. Then finally, declare all foreign key constraints. Hence, we first saw what the relational data model is and then went on to see how ER models can be mapped into a relational model. So like, subscribe and comment with your feedback to help us make better videos. Thanks for watching. Also, thanks a lot for those constructive comments. You help the channel grow. So here are the top mechanical EIs of our last videos. In the next episode of Mechanical EI, find out what the advantages of a relational model are.